Hello everyone. Welcome once again in the programmer's world. In the previous tutorial, we learnt about item state change listener. In this tutorial, we will learn about Jatable. Jatable is one of the most important component in Java Swing, and it is used at many places. In this tutorial we will learn that how we can populate data in our Jatable from database. There are many ways to do this, but mostly we use two methods, one is default table model and second one is by using Java library which is rs to xml.jar. The second method is easy and very effective, by using rs to xml jar file, we can easily populate a result set in Jatable. We will use the second method to populate data in our Jatable from database. Let's go to our NetBeans project. In NetBean let's create a new project. And now, let's drag and drop a Jatable, in which we will populate data from Access Database. I will give it some name. Now I will create a connection class to connect with database. First of all let me load the drivers for connection class, which are a can access library. You can see our previous tutorials in which you can easily understand that how we connect with access database by using you can access library. Here you can see that our connection class is ready. Now we have to download one more jar file, which is rs2.xml. You can download the same jar file from internet. However, link to download rs2xml jar file already provided in the description of this video. You can also download the same from there too. And then add this to your project. Now we will code to populate the data in our Jatable.
Here you can see, we have declared some variable, now we will create a statement. Now we will capture the result of this statement in our result set object. And finally we will use the set model method of Jatable in which we will pass the RS2 XML as object like this. And that's it from the coding side. You can see that only three lines of code will do this task. Let's now run this project and see the result. So, you see that how easy it is, to populate data in Jatable from database by using the RS2 XML library. I hope you like this simple tutorial. In the next tutorial we will work on the action listener of Jatable. So please don't forget to subscribe our channel and share this video if you like it. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.